Marcel Darius. Um, Marcel Darius played from 2011-2016 for the Bills at D-Tackle. He was first-team All-Pro in 2014, two-time Pro Bowl selections in 13 and 14, ranks 12th in team history with 35 sacks. I did not realize he had so many sacks. <laughs> Yeah, like dude. that guy was a monster. He got paid and then he just disappeared. Yeah, I don't know what happened. And I actually got a clip here for you guys for Bills Mafia on Marcel Darius. I kind of always played a lot of old school music. And I just always liked that song, Mr. Big Star. And I, uh, who do you think you are, Mr. Big Star? Now he's always rock to it. You're never going to get. Marcel Darius was in the backfield as soon as that ball was snapped and brought down the running back. I really just like manhandling guys. After most of the plays, I throw O-linemen to the ground. Just watching the surprise and look on their face after I grab them and show them like we ain't going nowhere. They just shrug their shoulders like it's nothing I can do. Big play by Marcel Darius doing a good job in the middle of that defense. Way on the interior of that Bills defensive line. I mean, within nanoseconds, he got in there. When you have that type of production from an interior defensive lineman where you can get pressure on the quarterback and also. Yeah. Uh, he was dominant, listen. man. He was early. He was so dominant. That's why we paid him, Mikey. And it's too bad then, that, you know, something happened. He declined, but. He it wasn't was. that he declined. He just, you know, his, his drive wasn't there. He yeah, got his money his and his drive wasn't there. And then we changed coaching staffs, and he didn't fit the uh, McDermott, um, you know, yeah. culture. But even and, when he left, though, Mikey, go. I think he went to Jacksonville after, if I'm not mistaken. He still mm -hmm. wasn't at that level that uh, – Mikey left. I don't know what happened Mikey. Uh, he still wasn't at the level uh, that he – there you are, Mikey. He wasn't at the level where he was in Buffalo, right? Like – so I don't I, I just think like I said, some players, man, Mikey, I think they they reach a certain part of their career where I think age catches up to them. Football football mm -hmm. age. You know what I mean? Like they I mean, say he's, 30 he's old productive for, 32, in Jacksonville you know? and he's trying to make a comeback. I think he's trying to make but a comeback he wasn't, this year. He right, wasn't the same wasn't, guy. Exactly. Like like the, the, the early years with us before he got the con, he was a beast. And that's why yeah. I think on that, actually, the top 100, where that little clip I played, he was like 50-something. That's yeah. pretty damn good. Like, people understood he was the he was a hell of a player. It just mm -hmm. – uh, the contract came, and that's what happens sometimes. When you give guys contracts, they it, – it is – it's a coin toss. It really is sometimes, guys, and it sucks. It does, but it's the way it goes, man. And that's why I think, Mikey, people are sometimes worried about, like, the Poyer situation. Oh, he's 32, right? If you give a, a big We're waiting, waiting for that drop off. What if the eight, right? What if the 33, you know, he turns this age and it, it Which, you know, he's not the same player. You know what I mean? Like I, it, it can just, happen. It, it, can. It, it can, it can, but I think it's different for, for safety. I agree. I agree. Tackles. But I'm just saying like in any player, running you backs never happen. They just fall off a cliff. Just oh, running backs. And forget about it. That's why you don't pay running backs. In my opinion, yeah. you just don't, you, you draft them and, and you move on. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, Mikey. So we're going. We're almost done, Mikey. By the way. Yeah. So I saw that. Go yeah, man. So going on to number seventy-eight. Here we go. 